Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to factory reset the iPhone 6, iPhone 6s, iPhone 7, iPhone 8 and iPhone SE 2020. If you have another iPhone model, I will leave my tutorial in the description. The process is quite easy, so we're going to open up the settings application. And we're going to tap on our Apple ID right here, we're going to tap on this one. And we're going to scroll down, I'm going to find sign out. And we want to sign out of iCloud. Let's do that right here. And it says keep a copy of data. We want to turn all of those off. I'm going to tap on sign out. I'm going to tap on sign out again. And now it's going to remove our iCloud data. Now, if you have Find My iPhone on, you will need to type in your passcode to your Apple ID one more time. Now, if you don't know this password, do not factory reset your device because if you actually factory reset, you're never going to be able to use the device again because you'll be brought to the iCloud lock page. And if you don't know your login, you will not be able to use the iPhone ever again. So now we're going to find a general and we're going to find reset. And this is the uh, important one. Click on the reset all content and settings. Click on erase. Click on erase. And the process will start right here. So you can see my iPhone will now be factory reset to the setup screen and now thankfully on ios you will not be updated to the latest ios while doing this process but keep in mind that you can still always update again by going into the software page of settings and if you never have any interest in updating make sure you disable automatic updates inside of the setup screen essentially when you set up your device it will show you um, an option this process doesn't actually take that long. I'm also resetting my MacBook Pro, which you will see a tutorial on that very soon. And um, it's pretty darn easy, to be honest. I'm surprised. The process on iOS is so easy. But on the MacBook, it's like, oh no. So, um... This will take a bit. I'm not. Eh, I'm gonna talk a bit. <laughs> so, once your device is factory set, you'll be brought to the Hello screen. You will need to enter in your uh, Wi-Fi again, and you will need to um, basically sign into everything. You have a bunch of preferences. If you are selling this device, don't worry because your data is being erased right now. So that is good. But um, again, if you have your Apple ID still on there then people will charge back because obvious reasons if they can't use the device because obviously they don't know your login therefore they can't use the device therefore they are going to charge back so definitely make sure that you have signed out and i'm going to show you at the end how to check if um your apple id is still on there for some whatever reason so that you can remove it um yeah this this process i mean it's gonna take under five minutes i think we are three minutes 29 in the uh, tutorial probably around three minutes in the factory reset so you can see it's not it's not it doesn't take that long um yeah it should be done anytime soon Now, the device should be brought to stock iOS in the setup page. There we go. So I'm going to click on home, and this is just...